Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing some unboxings. We have four boxes to unbox. Very excited today. So we've got a Goddess Provisions. We have two uh, Witch Box UKs. And then we have another box from the Goth Beauty Box. These are, these are kind of old. These are kind of from a while ago. Um, <laughs> just from moving and everything like it's been very busy so this I'm, I'm getting back into it so some of these are older but still cool stuff and I'm excited to show you this is like the last goddess provisions box that ever existed so it's kind of iconic grab a bevy I have a iced an iced zebra mocha that I'm sipping on today so grab a bevy come join me get cozy um, and and we'll just hang out for a little bit I'm trying to figure out lighting room and everything in my new place so bear with me as it is coming together I did just buy this huge pillow from home goods it's it's like two people wide and this new blanket from home uh, from home goods and I feel so cozy right here right now like I, I I feel like I could take a nap I might take a nap after this who knows who knows what's gonna happen we are running on zero food coffee so that's that's where we're at let me know in the comments how you all are doing today um and what's new with you i'd love to hear in the comments what the vibe is i really want to start with this goddess provisions box because it's kind of sad it's the last official goddess provisions like monthly box since they uh just moved to being more of a boutique and no longer doing their monthly subscription box so it was like bittersweet because i started getting goddess provisions in 2020 um in the beginning of the year and then by like two or three years later i was i'm gonna say two years after that they reached out to me and we started to partner and it was like my first brand partnership that like you know was so exciting and something that i already had been using for so long and it was like the highlight of my month already so it was kind of like a point where I was like, damn, did I make it? <laughs> this is so cool, this is sick. Um, and so it's like sad that it's stopping. So yeah, but here we go. I clearly lost the card that goes to this. But essentially the past few Goddess Provisions box that you've done, I'd say for the past like six months, have been lots of repeats of past boxes. So a lot of these are things we've already got. So I'm gonna just start ripping stuff out of here we've got the sacred spirits ritual kit this is something they started doing not too too long ago and it's essentially a bag of a bunch of different items that you can use in spells and rituals so this one has three different uh ritual inspirations of things to do with the ingredients included in this bag and that's a candle magic spell herbal essence water and grounding support which is creating like a pouch like a sachet of um crystals and the herbs and resin um so let's open this up and see what's inside i actually really like these um i've gotten a couple they had like a i think they had like a psychic one and then they had like a love spell one and i liked both of them i thought the herbs felt like really good quality and it was like a nice selection and I felt like it was very informative and had a lot of stuff. Also, I totally am meaning to like speed run these unboxings because there's so many and I'm already catching myself like yapping away. So I'll try to be quicker. We've got frankincense resin, sacred holy basil and rosemary. And on the back, it has like a little bit about the herbs themselves i look so white with this lighting situation i am very pale but and then we have a peaceful protection essential oil blend which just comes in this little essential oil carrier and thankfully it has like a label i've had some blends not from goddess provisions but from other brands and like they don't have a label and i'm always like i always forget what it is and i'm like ah anyway so i'm gonna put all these back in this bag because it has some fun ideas on the back and I don't want to forget so I like this it's very fun we've got 2022 um build your own deck the oracle trading cards these I loved it's so funny because 
like right before Goddess Provisions started doing this, my husband was like, you should make pokey packs of tarot cards. And that's literally what they did. And so I missed that opportunity, but somebody else got it. So, and these are herbs. They have a bunch of different ones of these Oracle trading cards. There's been like, I think I have all of them because I had the box for so many years, but they had like astrology, lunar phases, um, crystals, like all different things. And so you collect these and there's seven cards in each pack and then you can kind of create your own Oracle deck, mix and match things like that. So this one is really pretty. These are all herbs and ah, little plants. So check it out. I really like ghost pipe. So I think these are really cute. I like these a lot. Um, I don't think I have this one. Maybe I do. But I don't feel like I do. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. Three more things. We have this peacock or crystal. Um, I have a couple of these. They're like one of my favorites just because they look crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. These guys are so cool. Two more things. Wait, three more things actually. We have the mushroom magic DIY altar shelf, which I have this. This was in a previous box. So I might make it and give it to like a friend or something. Um, essentially you get like all the stuff you need, these little wooden planks, and you end up making this little um, triangle shelf. It's not very big, obviously this is the length of it, so it's like, it's like that big. Um, and you can kind of just put your crystals on it, it looks really cute. You could paint it if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I already have one. I don't need two. I'll either make this and give it to a friend or give it to a friend and let them make it. Um, not sure. Maybe I'll add it to a giveaway pile. I can do that too. Next is the Solar Radiance Brass Bookmark, which I already have one. Um, it's really cute. One thing I did not like about this though is that it, like if you put your books in your bag, um, if it like moves around this is obviously brass it's hard it's metal it can kind of mess up your pages and that's what I found happened so I would probably not use it in the way it's intended like it's intended this is a current book club book intended to be used right like that where you hook it on the page and it looks really pretty that way but then like this will get and on the pages like it kind of fucks up the edges so I would just like tuck it in um, if I were you but this might be something that I do in a giveaway pile. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll give it to the man. Who knows, who knows? I do like it, I do think it's very pretty. Just a word of warning if you get it. And lastly, I have this Infinite Cycles Brass Sun Catcher. I love, I actually have two Goddess Provision Sun Catchers in that window and I don't know if that's from Goddess Provisions, but I think it is. I love Sun Catchers. I, they're like one of my favorite things. I have this one, it's in storage right now. Um, I'm pretty sure. It's really cute. Got some nice snakey snake designs and some sun catchery beads. It's got like a lunar vibe. It's really cute. And this would also just be a cute like wall decoration if you didn't want to put it in a window. Um, it's like cute either way. That is the entirety of the Goddess Provisions box. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you had a favorite item from this Goddess Provisions box. I think it's hard because it's hard because I've already I already have so many of these things since some of these are repeats. I think I'm most excited about this, um, the Sacred Spirits Ritual Kit because I love a good ritual kit. It encourages me to be active in my craft and in my spirituality and it just like, yeah, it just it, it's so nice because it's like you have everything that you need generally for the most part, you know? Um, so we had the ritual kit, the mushroom altar shelf. We had the bookmark. We had the, it's all messed up now. The sun catcher, the oracle trading cards, and the peacock or what was your favorite item? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious what you liked best. I love a peacock or it's like a fun crystal, it's so cute. I am not speedrunning this very well, so I'm gonna speedrun this better.
Let's jump into the uh, Gothic Beauty Box. I've done one of these unboxings before and it's really funny. And there's something kind of funny about this one because I got this and I did peek in it. And there was something that I had to freaking use. So I did already use it, but we're gonna talk about it. So this is the Gothic Beauty Box number 55. Um, I'm not sure what month this was. I think it was probably like January or February maybe. So you've got all the things included here. Of course you get the magazine, which I think is so fun because I love magazines and it's so pretty. There's just, it's just like really such a vibe. I really love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to looking through it. They've got some like beauty things happening and yeah, freaking foot clothes. I love her. I love these, the, these socks girl. Homegirl makes the cutest socks and they're so comfy. Anyway, anyway, love it. Looking forward to looking through that. I will put the price here since this box is still in in production. The goddess provisions obviously isn't. Um, I know they have some like make your own boxes now, which is really cool, but this box, I'll leave the info here. I really love this box. Look how cute, look how cute. We'll start with the thing I already opened because it's just out in the open. So I, I wish I got pictures of the outfit because it was so freaking cute, but it was like this red and black kind of like dragon print dress that I wore to like a heavy metal screamo concert. I experienced my first, my first mosh pit. It was crazy. And um, I wore these gloves. These are so pretty. We'll put them on for you right now. So I'm, I'm so into these because I'm really trying to get into the glove game better. So these are from Charlotte's Veil. Um, and these are just fingerless black spiderweb stretch lace gloves. They're so cute. They're such a vibe. And I like the thumb hole. I like the link. It's like elegant and gothic at the same time. And I love it. So I did bust into these. At first I thought they were uh, fishnets and then they are, I found out they're gloves. Um, and I thought they went so cute with that outfit and it, it was just perfect. So I love these. I love this box because it's a good mix of like makeup, fashion, home decor stuff. And it just, I just really like it. You get some stickers for lip service, which is a brand they feature. Freaking ginger dead mold. Freaking gingerbread, but gothic. How cute. So you cut your gingerbread man and then you press into him a little skeleton vibe. So freaking cute obsessed with that. This is so cool. I love this. Like I said, I really like this box. Got this really pretty onk necklace. I love that. And it like feels really good quality too. It feels really nice. Bevy break. More stickies, more stickers. All right, let's do this. Then there is a collectible metal enamel pin. I've collected a lot of pins throughout the past year or so. We've got a hot goth girl with an onk. Love that for her. That's literally us. Love that for her. And I think these are from like small businesses, which I really like. Um, that happens a lot with, I feel like subscription boxes, but I think that's part of the reason I like them a lot is because it's like a nice way to learn about and find out other like smaller businesses that you might not have easily found out. Okay, what is this? Liquid eyeliner. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice try that out. I'm not gonna swatch it because I don't want to get it all over my uh, new hoodie that I'm wearing. It's really soft, but it is heating up outside. So anyway, liquid eyeliner from Stormcloud. It's called Deepest Black Liquid Eyeliner, which I'm looking forward to that because I do feel like all of these, always my liquid eyeliner is like never black enough. So we have, ooh, we love that. That's always the tea with being a pale girly. I would love to try this white foundation. It's by Dark Asteroid Pretty Ghostly Foundation and Lightening Potion. I do wanna do a video where I try out traditional gothic makeup. So I have the stuff to do it now. It looks really fun and yeah. It's not something I would personally wear like all the time just cause I don't consider myself goth, um, but I want. I do want to try a traditional goth makeup look because they are so iconic, and I love it. We've got a lashy doodle soft black makeup blender. 
love that so if you're a gothic girly or if you're interested in like gothic things even if you're like me and you're like i'm not like gothic but i like gothic things and i think it's super cool and i love i love witchy things like i think you'll like this box because it's like a good mix of stuff two more things we have this lashy doodle eyeliner stamp i got one of these in the last box and it was like a spider web this one's a heart and that makes me so excited because when I was a dancer, sometimes I would just use my normal eyeliner and draw like a little heart here and it, I always made so much money on those nights. I don't know why. Or like I would get like, um, I had these little like stick on diamonds and they're from like the dollar store and I would like stick them on here and it was like such a money maker. I don't really understand the science behind it, but it worked. Um, so one side is just like your traditional felt eyeliner and the other side is a little heart stamp. I don't know if you can see. We will, we will mark this one. I'm actually very excited to see. Okay, you watching? Ooh, <laughs> how cute. Yeah, cause like I love that like there. Um, and that makes it so much easier because it is really hard to freehand that. So. I'm very excited about this. This is one of my favorites for sure. And lastly, we have this Spooky Spirits Midnight Cherry Vanilla 100% uh, Pure Natural Essential Oil Blend. I love cherry vanilla because it reminds me of Lana Del Rey. It's like so Lana Core. Ooh, it smells very good. We will be wearing this today. Um, and the last box I got of theirs, it was like a uh, pumpkin pie scent. And I really like that. Mm. This is very fun. Okay, camera overheated because we were getting too hot in here, guys. But that was all the stuff from the Gothic Beauty Box. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. I think my favorite item, it is really hard because I actually am really digging everything. Like I said, this box is super fun. Um, obviously these gloves, top tier, like obsessed. These look so sexy and Gothic and like elegant and fun. So these are a favorite. The heart stamp is a favorite. The Ankh necklace is a favorite. The beauty blender is great. I have tons of these, so it's like not ranking the highest for me personally. The eyeliner's good. The foundation's good. Okay, I think favorites are <laughs> cookie cutter, <laughs> heart stamp, Ankh necklace, and gloves. I know that's not one, but you can feel free to say all the ones you like too in the comments and let me know what your favorite was and if you end up getting this box um, or a future box of theirs because like it is really fun. I really like these boxes. Okay, cool. We're going to speed run this. I don't want to take up all of your guys' day. I know some of you are like, I don't care about if your video is long. I love it, but I still feel like I care. Okay. I have two Witch Box UK boxes. I need to figure out which one is oldest and start with that. I don't know why I need to do that, but I feel like I do. Okay, cool, start with this one. So, talk about bitch has been hoarding boxes to do this unboxing since she moved. This is from freaking December. Freaking December. I'll have all the information on the screen for Witch Box UK. I really love this box. It's so fun and the people who run it are so sweet and I love them so much and they've put up with me with all my address changes. Um, so this is the December box. Let us open it. December box. This is, the theme is divination. So you get a bunch of information about the box itself for this month. Everything is vegan as always, or cruelty free and vegetarian. And most of it is recyclable and biodegradable. You have everything that's in the box written here. And then they have this thing where it's like how to use it. And it talks about the things that you're getting in the box. And if you wanted to have some like spells or some information, uh, they have upcoming dates that talks about like holidays or Sabbaths or moons that might be coming up. Lots of really fun information here. It's really nice. It's really cute. I really like them. Okay, cool. Let's jump into it. We get this card little art card and on the back it says mystic winds and whispers near grant me insight crystal clear and divination sacred dance open pathways take a chance ancient knowledge now unfold in the mystic truths i hold little fun incantation card their art cards are really pretty i like 
take a look at it. Lots of little things. Spell to enhance psychic awareness. Little spell kit. We love to see it. They have some really fun spell kits that they do. This bag full of good stuff. We have our little card that talks about the ingredients and the instructions. Everything you need to know. You have your incense, which is a sandalwood incense stick. Let's see. Marigold flowers, lavender flowers. What else? Dried rosemary. Aw, and a little cellula uh, selenite. Cellulite, <laughs> I was gonna say. A little selenite. That's so cute. He's so baby. I never seen a cellulite so small. Cool, everything you need. It says you'll also need a small bowl and a clean cloth. So it's just something you'd have to add. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Look at how crazy this is. This is a whole palmistry hand. I gotta figure out how to open this without getting styrofoam everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna have to vacuum after this. Look how cute this is. Little palmistry hand. Love that. And you also get a card or um, a little beginner's guide to palm reading. All this info, which is really fun. Um, I don't know anything about palm reading, but I love it. And this looks like a fun, very beginner friendly like intro to palm reading. So I love that. Next, we have Mystic Dice. I'm excited about these guys. Oh, these are cute. I was not expecting wooden. I love that. So you get planetary dice, symbols. So you've got like the triple moon, the Celtic triad, the pentacle, planets. Very fun. And it comes with a little scroll that talks about the meaning of each of those. And then we've got the mystical witch oracle cards exclusive little oracle deck. Cute little cards. They actually they feel so fun in the hand, like the. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like the um, material is like, it's obviously like um, papery, but it's like really soft. It's like card material, but almost like velvety, I guess. I'm not sure how I would describe that. We've got baleen, apple, rosemary, toad, oak tree, air, stang, snake. And they're really pretty cards, which box always goes really good with their cards. I have a couple other little mini decks from them about like goddesses and stuff and they always do really well. They always give you this scroll of like a little uh, book of shadows pages. This one's about scrying. Look how pretty it looks. I feel like their book of shadow pages are always really, really pretty. Next we have some runes. I really need to like get into runes. <laughs> little information card. I'm actually only familiar with like the Elder Futhark runes, Futhark, I never know how to pronounce it. I'm trying to get into like my Nordic background. Oh, these are so pretty. Uh -huh, trying to show y'all. They're like little marble and they're like hand painted. Love that. And lastly, last thing in this box is a little banded amethyst. We love to see it. Amethyst makes so much sense for like a divination themed box. And it's like a good size crystal too. Super pretty little amethyst. And that's everything from this box. Let me know what your favorite item was down below. I think my favorite item, um, I don't know. It's hard to choose. I think like I'm such a divination girly. So like everything in here was beautiful and great and I love I love like new dice, like runes and things like that. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling really connected to this amethyst, honestly. I just, a lot of my crystals are in storage and so like, I don't have a ton of crystals with me here, but um, feeling good about that. So yeah, also this spell seems really cute. Like really nice spell to enhance psychic awareness. I'm just, I like everything in this box, honestly. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what your favorite was. All right, we're on to our final box. We made it. And this is Witch Box UK again. And this is the February box. And the theme for February was candle magic. So looking forward to it. We got it open. Same situation with the um, card. I love this. Oh my God, I'm already crying about this. This is so cool. Okay, first stop, the art card. Really pretty. It's giving in bulk. We love to see it. And on the back is info about fire divination, how to read candle flames. And I like that they do that where it's like the art card also has information on the back so you can use it as art or you can like put it in your book of shadows. If anything, you have some more info that you can 
learn a little something. Okay, this is what I was screaming about. Like, this is the first thing I see. Okay. I want you guys to see it and experience it with me. Look at this candle. I love these like flower pressed candles. I know it's probably so loud with the plastic. Okay, I absolutely love these flower pressed candles. I think they are like the cutest thing ever. They're so pretty and to me, it just has a very like, like cozy, like cottage core, like homey kind of vibe and it feels so cute. And this is like, this is like the perfect candle that could have came. Love that. A great start, starting off to a great start. We've got our Book of Shadows page, and it's about candle magic. Bunch of cute info. An agate heart. Oh, it's so pretty. I love agates because they can be any color and you never know what's gonna happen. This, it reminds me of like a smoky quartz kind of, and I really, really like dark crystals like this. It's so pretty, and you get a little info card about your crystal, which is always really nice. I always save these and then would like add it to my book of shadows or like, I don't know, just learn a little something about the crystal. So I, I feel really attached to this. Magical candle snuffer. Okay. Ooh, this, oh, this is pretty. Look at that handle. This has got some weight to it. I'm digging this box. I'm such a candle magic person. This is perfect for me. Honestly, divination and candle magic are huge parts of my practice, so I feel like this is perfect. Uh, but this handle just feels very nice. This brings me back to like the Catholic church. Ooh, look at this. Exclusive altar candle shell. So cute. This is really pretty. I love a good wood, like feng shui vibes. It brings in such a cozy, homey energy. And I just think like that definitely comes through with this. I'm probably gonna like attach some hardware on the back so I can like hang it on a wall. I probably won't use it for candles because I get really like very anxious, I guess. Like I, I have the most fireproof, like fire safe setup when I do my candles, but this would be pretty for displaying them or even like the other goddess provision shelf, like displaying crystals or I mean, statues or anything really. I just really like it. I think it's cute. Ooh, this is so cute, a bunch of like beeswax candles. Got purple, red, and black with this cute mushroom. Yeah, I'm really digging this box. This this might be my favorite box. I feel like we saved the best for last. Spell kit. This is an exclusive candle spell for prosperity. So you've got a green candle, some cinnamon, your card. I'm not sure what the incense is, but a cute little prosperity spell. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have a magical anointing oil. Ooh, it's cinnamon and orange oil to anoint candles for purification and protection. I also feel like cinnamon and orange um, are really good for prosperity, cinnamon for prosperity, orange for happiness. So it just is like a really abundant, ooh, mixed to me. Look how pretty that looks. It's like so, um, I don't know, old timey. Oh, it smells good. That smells really nice. I love that. Well, that's all from this box. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite item down below from this box. So I think my favorite item was either this candle or the shelf. Let me know yours down in the comments below. I also think this was my favorite box out of all of it. Um, just really vibed it. The crystal felt good. Everything felt great. And I'm just a big fan of candle magic, so that's probably why. But let me know your favorite box in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out today. This is probably a long one. Hope it was fun. Um, and yeah, excited to be back. So yeah, thanks guys for hanging out and I'll see you all next time. Bye.